Kara Suckman. She is one of the top leading past life regressionists. We're here for Steve to come in and unblock all of his problems, all of his woes, and importantly, all his past relationships that has caused him not to find true love in this lifetime. Hi, Steve. Hey. Come on and meet Tara. Hey, hey Tara. So, Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. You know what? You sit here and I'll sit over here. Tara is probably one of the biggest past life regressionists. If anybody can get to the source of a problem of why it keeps manifesting over and over again, you know, she's the girl. Okay, so close your eyes. Breathing deeply, and you just start to float. Breathing deeply, as you start to float through time and space. And you're going back into a past life. The mist is clearing, and you're in another place, in another time. What do you see? Have a son who's ill. Where's the mother? She passed away. So how old is the boy? Seven. Who do you see the son at in this life? I feel it was my daughter in this life, the daughter I adopted. About 15 years into the future, where are you now? Uh, alone in a, like a cabin or something. It's in the, kind of in the woods or forest area. Have you had a lover since your wife died? No. While Steve is under, Immediately, he started getting images. He knew exactly. He was 23 years old. He was born in 1900. He lived in a European city. He would always go to this brown building. He was a painter. His son was sick, and his wife had died of typhoid. I mean, that's pretty specific. Come on. You don't make that stuff up. Open your eyes. Feel great. Wide awake. How do you feel? Oh, wow. I feel like I had a spiritual mental workout. So how do you feel about what just happened? It's like this long series of events and, and lifetimes that's led up to this, and it's just bigger than, than I thought it was, because we get so caught up in thinking we're in the present, and that's all there is, and there, it's not, so. Did, now, do you feel cleansed? I do, I do. I felt like Tara was reaching in, asking all the right questions, and Patty was also. Just, uh, they kind of, you know, a tag team hypnosis approach, and they, and they both extracted everything that needed to be pulled out, and it was just great.